up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another pressure. Uh, hopefully, this will go over a little bit better than some of my blitzes have this week. I know uh, it's, it's uh, just been me for getting setups left and right. I, I lab all these setups, and then I, I try to do them from memory, and I don't always write them down. And, and I probably should start, because I know I sometimes mess them up. But anyways, the blitz we're going to be looking at today is from the, uh, the Nickel Normal Formation. I think we're the Miami Dolphins playbook. I'm not quite sure. But the play we're going to be uh, looking at, let me substitute uh, a faster defensive end over here because Tyson Alualu should not be a defensive end. I don't know what. That's probably why Jacksonville is uh, is uh, pretty good this year. So, anyway, let's take a look at this pressure. This is uh, a, a blitz I broke down earlier on uh, from the nickel 416 or the sub 416. It works very similar in the nickel. And what we want to do is with this play. And this is kind of why I like it a little bit better. All we have to do is we all we have to do is shift our linebackers to the right, and then globe, uh, and then just reblitz uh, Allen here. And what you're gonna get is you're gonna get right edge heat. And oh my gosh, this is killing me. The safety comes. In. What's supposed to happen is the is the uh, safety. Um, the safety's not supposed to come in. It's supposed to be the defensive end. Let's try to base the line. Maybe that'll help. Um, and I think you also need to. I think I've been using the middle linebacker in this blitz too. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, it's not, I don't understand that. I was working five seconds ago. Man, this has been a tough week. Um, oh, I know why. It's because of Tyson. Uh, you see Tyson Alu Alu. This is why. This is why it's different. This is why sub four one six is better than nickel. When you baseline and press, then the uh, Alu Alu comes down here. You need to spread your defensive line for it to work properly. You see how they move just a little bit? That is a big deal in Madden. So just know that. So you're going to um, spread your defensive line. Um, and then you need to shift your linebackers to the right. And that should work. Oh, uh, I think I bumped something. Hold on a second. Let's try that again. Alright. Shift the linebackers right. Spread your defensive line. And we get right edge pressure. Right edge pressure. Right edge pressure. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. Um, it's supposed to come in a little better. Now let's take a look at what happens there. So what's supposed to happen is right at the point at which the tackle is going to guard block the, the, the blitzing end, he's supposed to just pick up the safety. Watch his head. You see how it turns? He's looking to pick up that guy, but then all of a sudden he turns to pick up the safety. That's what's supposed to happen. Um, so let's try that one more time. Hopefully it works. And see, he's, he should go pick up the safety. I don't know why he's not. You may, uh, you may just for good measure, just bring the safety down. Uh, just manually, just say, okay, I'm just gonna throw him out here. And, and it's just, it's just a super overload. It's a double overload pressure. So you see, if they get, they're gonna kick, they're gonna pick up one, but one is also gonna shoot free. Um, so, anyways, guys, that's the basic pressure out of this uh, package here. Just remember, I mean, you could just do whatever. I mean, you could just throw him wherever because he's on a straight down blitz angle. So you could throw him out to the right, you could throw him out to the left. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but just remember, the key here is to re blitz the D end. Um, so, anyways, guys, that's uh, another blitz of the day. This one is, this pressure is decent. I like it in short yard situations. It's probably better from the sub 416 package, uh, to be honest. Um, but. It's a lot easier to set up, in my opinion, because you don't have to rely on the press from base aligning. You just can you can just shift the linebackers right. So be sure to add this blitz to your to your defense, guys. Uh, let's take a look at it one more time here, real quick, before I get out of here. So remember, shift your linebackers to the right. Click on the Allen here, reblitz him, and then I like to you can also contain that guy on the left side there. It may do a little bit better of a job. And you see, you're either either the DN is going to come free, or the safety will come in delayed. Uh, just work on it, guys. I I know that it's a very simple pressure to think about because you're overloading, but when you can set this up properly, it becomes a very good blitz. And then real quick, we're going to go over one. See right there, that's exactly how it's supposed to work. So right there, um, you saw exactly how it's supposed to work. Uh, let's take a look at this. So it's we we put that DT on the left on the contain. We reboots the the we shift the linebackers right, and we and we uh, reboots the right of screen D end, and watch this tackle. You see how he's gonna go pick up that D end, but then he shifts to look at the safety. That's exactly what's supposed to happen on this pressure. So it looks like at the snap we're only sending four, but in reality we're sending five. Let's see if we can do it one more time. 
Oh, I forgot to ship my linebackers. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's been a tough week this week. All right. Shift them. Contain there. Just like I said earlier. I'm going to try to get started in these setups in the description for you. I know I say I will, and then sometimes I forget, but I'm going to try to start. I don't know what I did wrong there. I think it has to do with, you, you have to, and that's another thing real quick, um, the blitz angle positioning, positioning is everything on blitzes like this, um, and you just need to make sure that this guy here is like close to the line, because he's supposed to get picked up, but yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's something to mess around with, guys. It's just a simple pressure overload concept. Doesn't always come in, you know, when they slide protect and stuff. But I like it overall for me. I mean, it works enough for me. I can get away with it. You'll see. You probably saw last week's game of the week when we called it. We got a sack on it. And see, that's exactly how it's supposed to work. So what I did there, and let's just go over this, and this will be the setup, I guess. Um, but base line press, spread your defensive line, shift your linebackers to the right, re your right of screen defensive end, and quarterback contain your left of screen uh, defensive tackle. And you're going to get right edge pressure. And see, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. This is the way blitzes are this year, especially this one. This is a very tender blitz. We're starting to get into the pressures that take a lot more time to set up. So just note that, and uh, just be sure to be on the lookout uh, as we go through the next couple of weeks uh, with our content. So thanks for watching today, guys. I know... You know, this blitz is not the best of Madden. By far, it's not. It has a lot of flaws. But when called in short yard situation, it can get you great reward. Just check out the game of the week last week, and it'll show you guys everything you need to know. Thanks for watching today, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.